Okay, Assalamualaikum and this is for the demonstration part and in this part, I will show the demonstration that will cover all my three objectives. So as you can see, this is the overview of my prototype. There's a vehicle A here and vehicle B here. The vehicle A will do the transmitter part and the vehicle B will do the rece receiver part. So we go first for vehicle A. There's a three main components here which are the keypad button as an input message for the vehicle A and there's also a LED here and the ultrasonic sensor here while the on the inside there's a microcontroller e Arduino Uno and for vehicle B the main components are solar panel and the LCD to display the message and both of these prototypes are connected to the power bank okay now I will show you how this system communication works okay i'll give you one scenario for example vehicle a notice that vehicle b has a malfunction brake light so this driver wants to alert this driver that that he has a malfunction brake light so what this driver simply do is pressing one of the key button here number two and we display the message and we show on the vehicle B driver and you show that bright light my function okay I'll show you one more time the key but keypad button is pressed and the light and the light is flickering and the message is delivered so basically that is this is the overview of how the transmission the data transmission works within vehicle A to vehicle B okay another scenario I can show you that if vehicle A notice that the vehicle B driving too fast while there's a sharp turn ahead in front so this driver can alert this driver to slow down by, by pressing one of the button here showing that slow down then sharp turn ahead in front so the driver in vehicle B will be alert so every message will only be triggered using a key button the driver doesn't have to key in the, the character one by one it's only triggered on using the keypad button okay another scenario that i can show you if what if the vehicle b is driving too near to vehicle a the light will trigger and the message of warning the vehicle is too close is shown on vehicle B because the ultrasonic sensor detects distance of between two vehicles that is too close and this terminal this screen is connected to vehicle A and these are all the messages that are being transmitted to vehicle B as you can see the brake light malfunction slow down sharp turn ahead and warning vehicle is too close this is the message that i just sent to vehicle b just now okay now i will explain on how this data transmission works as i said just now the keypad is the one of the main component for vehicle a so every single keypad button here holds uh, every unique alert messages and every unique alert messages is given a binary bit 8 bit of binary to represent each button here for example when i press a button here the arduino will detect that the particular button is pressed it will give a binary bit that's already been write, wrote down on coding and it will straight to the led and the led will flicker based on the binary bits okay now i will show you on the coding part we'll take a uh, example of keypad one here so every time a keypad one is pressed as you can see here if cus custom key one is pressed the message that represent the keypad one is caution unsafe to overtake and you can see in the array there is a high high low high low high low low it means it, this is the binary bits it means one one zero one zero one zero zero. Every message has different binary. 
and different character messages so meaning that every time i press keypad one here led here will flicker based on the binary one one zero one zero one zero zero so when i press keypad one here the binary uh, the sorry the led will flicker according to the binary but it, it is flickering in a microseconds and our our naked eyes cannot catch it so that's done for the transmitter part now we will go to the receiver part the main component here is the solar panel the solar panel will listen to the the binary beeps and the microcontroller here inside convert the binary beeps back into the original message and display on lcd okay now this is coding for receiver part we take the same example the keypad one just now as, as you see the, the value from keypad one as you can see here the binary bits of keypad one just now is converted into uh, decimal value of 212 so from the decimal value i make a if else function if the value is equal to 212 and it will display back the original message of caution unsafe to overtake also there's a same thing goes to every single button here you, you already see how the overview of the system communication is done and i can say that my objective one is complete now we will proceed to objective number two which is to log and record all the transmitted and received message from both vehicle okay now i'll show you how it is done the time is 4 pm and i'll try to send one messages which is wild animal nearby okay right now it's 402 i'll send another message which is emergency please make way okay right now it's 404 i'll send a last message which is heavy rain turn on your light so as you can see here this is the message i'm using a cool term software it will record all your message and it will display in a notepad here as you can see this is all the message that i just sent just now including the binary as you can see it's a 4 4 pm 402 pm and 404 pm including the date also so i can say that my second objective is also successful so i get the idea to implement my second objective is by watching the aeroplane's black box i'll get the idea it's not exactly the same but the similar idea whenever a car has its own um, black box i can say and every message transmitted and received will be stored in the car if any accident happening the experts the police officers it's easier for them to do the work by looking through the message receive and send and it is easier to know which vehicles is the culprit of any accident happen if all the message here is can be uh, retrieved back every time an accident happen okay now moving on to objective number three which is to analyze the data transmission in various conditions as you can see here the number 306 this is the number of default ambient light received by the solar panel it means the coming from the window and the light in my inside my room so with the ambient of 306 as you can see just now that every message is sent and received smoothly what i'm trying to do now is i try to add another additional light to see if there's any problem to the data transmission okay now you can see the value is increasing to 383 note that every time this test is conducted the value might be very it might be different from my report now i try to send a message to see if it's successfully received or not okay with the additional light as you can see the even though with the 383 ambient light 
the high and the light the the message is still successfully received you can see the binary bits and the message is well received no error okay now if i try to bring the the additional light closer to the solar panel you can see the result it is getting the error message and to see the value of ambient light here is very high which is 0 one zero two three solar panel can cannot differentiate between the ambient light and the light from the LED itself. It is receiving the binary bits of one 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 one, meaning that it cannot process the binary bits from the transmitter, and it receives the message error. Okay, so I can conclude that the message transmission is smoothly and well received if the ambient light 400 and below because that is the number of ambient light i've set in the coding every ambient light that is received higher than 400 the system will detect an error message because the solar panel is unable to differentiate between the the light from led and the light from the ambient light okay moving on now i try to simulate uh, raining conditions to see if it gives any effects to the data transmission when it is raining so I place a cup filled with uh, water and I try to make the transmission to, to be delivered across the water to see if there any problem to the transmission pressing one of the key, key button here brake light malfunction and it is well received so I try one more time the message is well received the buzzer is triggered and the message is well received ok now for the third time the message is received the binary bits is well received also so I can say that the raining condition will not give any effects to the data transmission as the light is able to travel underwater ok now I try to simulate the fog or hazy situations by placing a piece of tissue paper in front of the solar panel let's see if the transmission is working or not ok looks like the transmission is successful second try second try is also successful and last try the message is successful ok now I have placing another piece of tissue make it two piece of tissue all together in front of the solar panel and see is it working or not as you can see the result here it show the binary of 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 and with a message error meaning that the solar panel is unable to capture the binary bits from the LED ok I'll try one more time still unable to receive if I bring the prototype closer and it will receive it uh, successfully meaning that the distance needs to be nearer in order for them to receive the message successfully as you can see here the binary bits is not really consistent the message is received and sometimes it is not received the binary bits is not correct so I can say that the two pieces of tissue paper maybe is too thick for the transmission to successfully happen so I think that's all for from the demonstration I recovered all the three objectives that I chose thank you